Propyrifos is uh, one of the pesticides that has been studied in the greatest detail. We know that it can result in adverse effects on brain development in, in children and uh, during fetal brain development. So uh, this is a pesticide that we are very concerned about and I think that it's a bad idea to continue using it. What impact do we know for sure that this has in the fetus uh, or in the, in the small child? Well, the studies that have been carried out show that if a mother has elevated amounts of chlorpyrifos in her urine during pregnancy, that is, if she's been exposed to higher amounts of this pesticide, then there is an increased risk that the child will not perform well at school age in IQ tests. And there are also studies that show that uh, the, the brain essentially is shrinking uh, after exposure to uh, uh, propyrifos. This has been shown on scannings of, of the children at school age uh, that there's less what we call gray substance. That's where the cells are sitting in the cortex of the brain. And I think those findings are very worrisome. Do we know today uh, some of the more long-term effects that this can have as an, you know, an, as an impact on society? Well, I mean, we, we know some from animal studies, uh, and in regard to human studies, this is certainly difficult to study because we're talking about um, uh, long-term, which means that uh, it would require prospective studies that uh, need to last for a considerable period. So um, we don't really know this in detail, and I think it's uh, rather sufficient, at least to me it's sufficient, that if we know that this substance is affecting children's brain development so that the brain is not functioning optimally, and that even they're losing uh, brain substance. I'm very concerned about using this toxic pesticide. You've had um, a look into the data from the producer, Dow Chemicals, um, on this uh, pesticide, the substance chlorpyrifos. What were your findings when you looked into the raw data from, from Dow? Well, the, the summary that the um, chemical producer submitted to the authorities uh, turned out to be very superficial and optimistic. And when we looked at the laboratory data, the, the raw data from these animal studies, we found that there were, you know, what we consider adverse effects uh, on the brain during early development. And so I think there are two problems here. Number one, that the, um, the company uh, is optimistic and that they didn't feel like reporting potential adverse effects. And uh, while well, that, that's probably true for uh, uh, you, you know, pharmaceuticals and uh, various other products as well, but I see an additional problem, and that is that the authorities did not study all of the details. They just accepted these optimistic conclusions. And, and therefore, I, I think that the system we have in regard to testing and uh, approving the use of uh, pesticides, it's, it's insufficient. It is not protecting human health the way it should. In your experience and your profession, how would you characterize the conclusion that Dow came with based on their own data? I, I would say it's misleading, but, but we need to appreciate that there are economic incentives here, and the whole research field is uh, essentially uh, determined by the economic interests, the financial interests in this field, which means that there's going to be new chemicals uh, for use in, in agriculture and food production. Uh, there's very little research in what you might call uh, organic farming. Uh, 
Um, and, and I mean, for my sake, I, I don't think that all farming necessarily needs to be organic, but it would be fantastic if we could become less dependent on chemicals. And therefore, the research efforts, and, and apparently also the conclusions drawn, are misdirected, where we should really aim at um, using fewer chemicals, uh, and also exposing consumers to less, if at all. Last question. The Clopier Foss uh, approval is up for renewal in December 2019. As a scientist, what is your recommendation? Should this be approved or should it be banned in the, in the EU? I think that they don't need my recommendation because there is so much evidence that chlorpyrifos was a bad idea. And I hope that they will face it out as soon as possible. Thank you very much.